Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to just show you the basics of Visim. If you haven't used it before, you might find it useful. Let me first start on the left side. You can see the network objects. Here, you use these to build up your model. These are the basic elements you use for your simulation. So you can see like from links, conflict areas, vehicle inputs, queue counters, nodes, background images. And here uh, in the bottom with yellow, these are for the um, Viswalk, the pedestrian modul modeler. You don't really use these uh, when you do vehicles, but you can use, you can combine uh, vehicles with pedestrians in some cases, but it's not really common. In the middle here, the biggest part is the network editor. Here you can see this background map uh, is turned on by default. If you use the range icon, you can select different provider. You can also um, toggle it on and off. You can select the map to be a uh, grayscale. You can set, change the intensity. If you reduce it, then you will, uh, it will help you to uh, put a bit more contrast on uh, the simulation if you are uh, running it. You can show the scale that's on the bottom as you zoom in and out. That shows the scale for the view. Um, you can put a label on the uh, this screen, a simulation label. Um, you can see it's there. You can change the settings of that one. So these are the coordinates. The first is the X, the second is the Y. So if I increase that, you can see that that moves a bit further up. You can change the color, the font size. You can show a logo. Uh, it is there. You can also change the location. You can load your own file. To show the logo. Um, there is a 3D mode um, that is useful when you have uh, your motor ready and you want to watch the simulation in a bit more realistic way. These colors are uh, like selection rubber band. I would just keep them as default. You can also show a compass. Again you have the same uh, settings there to change the location and show a legend. This is more useful for uh, evaluation, like uh, density on links or speed, and you can just list here uh, the certain settings you used. The same uh, configuration is available here for the location. Uh, wireframe mode, uh, this is if you place a link, for example, and the links are showed only at uh, their middle let me just show an example in a second for that one. These are the zoom controls. You can come out with the, the minus, with the plus. You can either just use your scroll on your mouse or you can just select an area and it will zoom into that one. Let me just zoom in a bit closer and just place a link. So you select the link here with your left button. You hold on control and then you drag it with the right click and then you release it. It will bring up automatically the screen. You can change the number of lanes or the width of the lanes. Let me hit OK. If I zoom in, you see that with the wireframe mode turned on, you can only see the center line. If I switch that off, you can see that um, it is a two lane link. Um, let me just create another link here to show you how to use lists. So for everything you can see on the left and for basically all other settings, you can view them as uh, in a list. So if you right click there, you can click show list and then you can select these. It's in these two icons there. So if you put this auto pen, what it does as you select it, it moves the screen. But if you select the zoom, it even zooms the screen to those elements. Here, if you click on the, that icon on the left, you can switch the visibility on and off. But it is uh, good to remember that you can't hide 
something you are select you select at the moment so you just do that if you want to hide anything again you can um, toggle the 3d settings here um, here these are uh, these help you to just move the camera with a different uh, in a different way and also you have some settings here this is for the 3d mode you can add like a sky texture underground you can use a fog <laughs> you might find these useful these are your simulation settings when you run your simulation then you start it with this one the start button with this the simulation will be played continuously with this you can play the simulation step by step you need to keep pushing it or clicking on it and with this you can stop it here you can just um, move between each window basically this is the speed of your simulation this is a quick mode so if you click on that one the simulation will run much faster it will run much faster but it's good to remember that you can't really see what's going on so only switch it on if you don't want to see you just want to run it you can move these windows around um, you can grab them here and then you can move if you hold if you hover it over a part of the screen it will show you where can you put it so um, where it's allowed so you can do it put it back you can move it to the right or you can move it there you can move it to the left side you can move it to the top side or you can just um, um, you it's you're not allowed to put that but like here you can do it like that or just like that yeah so and lastly here in the menu you can see all the changes and settings you can do so for example in the base data you have most of the settings like you can add 2d 3d models you can change the functions distributions um, you can deal with do they change the vehicle types vehicle classes driving behaviors all kinds of stuff in traffic this is mainly for the dynamic assignment and vehicle composition um, but of course there are other changes here but you rarely use that probably these dynamic assignment settings are um, grouped together here in within traffic but you don't need to leave it those now but we will have a look in a later video to create a signal control you need to select it there simulation settings can be found here we will have a look at these settings later evaluation you can uh, change the configuration here presentation this menu is basically for uh, recording your simulation um, either to create a video or just to record the, the actual simulation results or not the results but more just the, the run and you can also add scripts so you can deal with those again the same list you can add different scripts here or you can run a script file and the help menu is also very useful you can find you can find the Visim help. This is the online help. This brings up the PDF. You can reach if you have a contract with PTV. Uh, you can um, so this will uh, the technical support will um, bring up the website where you can uh, submit a report if you have any issues. And also here the README examples, tutorials, demo training directory, and you can have a look at your license, what kind of modules you have included. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, next video will come soon in the next few days. Please, if you um, like what you see, consider uh, subscribing and uh, liking this video. It will support the channel a lot and I would appreciate your help. If there is anything, please reach out to me in, your, in the comment section below and uh, let me know if you need some help or anything and uh, we can discuss how can I help. Thank you for watching. See you next time.